shakalaka. Yes, Tesla is taking Bitcoin again. Why this is great news, but you shouldn't get your hopes up until the end of July. Stay tuned. What's up everyone, Randall here from Crypto Love. Today's episode, we are talking about the Tesla news taking Bitcoin again once miners go 50% green. Before we do guys, make sure to like, subscribe, click the notification bell. Also come join us over on Twitter at the Crypto Love, where every week we give away one of these sweet shirts, whether the market goes up, down, sideways, or otherwise. Now, guys, news today, Tesla will be resume taking Bitcoin once again. Thank goodness, or really, Fuck Elon. Who the hell cares what Elon thinks anymore? Seriously. Does anybody even buy Teslas? Fuck those cars. Fuck Elon. Let's just forget him and move on. But for those of you guys who actually want to know what's going on, somebody was talking about how Elon Musk is a douchebag and a turd sandwich. And he got his ego offended. And he said, no, I'm not. Because, meh. They basically said that Tesla sold Bitcoin to make a profit. And he said, no. Tesla only sold 10% to confirm Bitcoin could be liquidated easily without moving the market. When there's confirmation of reasonable 50% clean energy usage by miners with positive future trend, Tesla will resume allowing Bitcoin transactions. All I can say is, fuck Elon, fuck Tesla, who cares about that bullshit? Nobody likes him anymore. And see, the thing is, now he's all butthurt because nobody likes him. But really, if we, who cares if Tesla takes Bitcoin? What does Tesla sell? Nobody buys their cars. Tesla makes their money from renewable energy credits and from buying Bitcoin, pumping the price, and then selling Bitcoin. That's how Tesla made money this past year. So what, they're gonna accept Bitcoin to buy renewable energy credits? Who cares? But despite that happening, the market still rebounded 8.4% off of the news that Tesla will be taking Bitcoin once it's 50%. Fuck Elon. Now, what's going on with the price? So, we broke out of this wedge. So, we had this wedge here. It's dotted line up there now. Broke out of the wedge. Also broke out of the very serious downtrend. That's why I made them dotted lines now. Now we have this new trend where I basically just extended this bottom trend line up. And we can see it was a little bit of support here, a little bit of resistance there. And also kind of some resistance there and resistance there. So potentially, we might be seeing some resistance around the $40,000. Not only that, but it's a big even. But not only that, but we also have this pending death cross, the 50-day and 200-day moving averages right there, that if we were to break through that $40,000, well, guess what? We would have to then break through the 200-day moving average. We would then have to break through the 50-day moving average. So a lot of upward resistance at the moment. And the other thing that I wanted to mention is, you know, I honestly, I mean, who the heck cares about this Elon news, really? And is this enough to push... Tesla might buy. Who the fuck cares? Seriously, who cares if Tesla might accept Bitcoin? That's like the least important thing ever. And somehow he manipulates the price because of it. But this might just be one last hurrah before a dump. Now, it may be that the price is going up, but we're not at the ultimate bull run support structure, which is way down here. This red line right here from the bottom in March of 2020 through where it felt resistance or support there in October of 2020. And that right now, until about the end of July, July 23rd, that doesn't cross $20,000. So until that does, I would still be a little bit hesitant about what's going on. But despite that happening, I mean, like I said, I have PTSD. I've been through a bear market. You got to like prove to me without a doubt we're in a bull market before I believe it. But other people, hey, Bitcoin could hit $85,000 in months as the indicators flip bullish. So we saw resistance broken through, indicators flip bullish, and potentially we might be seeing, well, right here, they received a signal yesterday suggesting that Bitcoin price was oversold relative to active addresses on chain and could now be ready to bounce back in, in the coming weeks. So we can see here, it's very hard to see, but there's a blue line and a red line. And basically, it's oversold. This, this yellow line of active addresses is oversold compared with that blue line. So potentially, we could see a price bounce back. As you can see here, it was oversold down here. And then quite afterwards, the price bounced back. So we could potentially see that. Not only that, but we have the uh, relative or the stock to flow model 
that right now is about $85,000. So Bitcoin could potentially bounce back because after yellow comes green and looks what happens with green here, green starts going up towards that line again and then whoo, breaks through even more. Now, what happened during all of this Elon Musk, Tesla FUD everything? Well, his rich cronies got a chance to buy more Bitcoin. Bitcoin's rich list snapped up 80,000 Bitcoin since the May 19th crash at a discount. So, all I can say there, fuck Elon, fuck Tesla, don't drive Teslas, sell your Tesla, get rid of it, nobody likes him, nobody likes Elon, he's destroying the world, devastating forests, mining lithium, child labor, fuck Elon. And finally, guys, check this out, meme coins not allowed, the Thai SEC bans meme coins, fam co fan coins, and exchange tokens, as well as NFTs. So, that's all for today's episode, sell your Tesla. Have a good one. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, click the notification bell. I'll catch you later. Have a good one. Thanks.